Hello, this video will demonstrate how to use ActScript. Once downloaded, ActScript is very simple to use. First, select a document you wish to encrypt. The document may be located anywhere on your computer, such as on the desktop, within a folder, or through Windows Explorer. Once you have navigated to the document you wish to encrypt, right-click on the document. You will then see the ActScript option within the drop-down menu. Hover your cursor over ActScript within the drop-down menu to display the ActScript drop-down menu. Then select Encrypt a Copy. In the box, enter passphrase, enter what you may also call a password of your choice. Note, this will be the passphrase you provide the receiving party to open the document. Then, you need to verify the passphrase in the Verify Passphrase box by typing the passphrase exactly as you typed it in the box above. You will notice two checkbox options. Remember this for decryption and use as default for encryption. If you plan to use the same passphrase for most of your encrypting needs, you may check the Use as Default for Encryption option. This will remember your identified passphrase and apply to future documents you encrypt. As a note, if you check this option, it can easily be changed, which I will demonstrate later in the video. You may also check the Remember This for Decryption if you will be receiving and decrypting documents with the same passphrase you have identified above. To note, when you decrypt a document, it will typically be sent to you by a third party. You will only want to check this option if you are exchanging information among different users that have agreed upon a consistently used passphrase. Therefore, I will not be checking it. Once you have completed these steps, you may click OK to create the encrypted document. It will display automatically as shown. Now that you have created an encrypted document, you may attach it to an email as you would any regular document. There are two key things you need to remember when sending an encrypted ActScript document. First, the recipient of your document must also have ActScript downloaded on their computer to open the document. If the recipient does not have ActScript on their computer, they will not be able to open the document. And second, you must notify the recipient of your chosen passphrase through a second email or another chosen mode of communication. If you do not notify the recipient of the chosen passphrase, they will not be able to open the document. During a previous mentioned step, you may have checked one or both of the boxes to set a default passphrase. If need, you may clear or reset these default passphrase at any time. First, you need to select any document. It does not have to be an encrypted document, just any document. Right click on the document. As shown previously, you will then see the ActScript option within the drop down menu. Hover your cursor over ActScript to display the ActScript drop down menu. Click Clear Passphrase Memory. We have come to an end of the demonstration on using ActScript. I truly hope this video has been helpful getting you started. Happy encrypting!